reading the script and breaking it down starts the, the kind of creative process of getting some ideas, but then it really has to take shape meeting the director and, and discussing what his vision is and trying to serve that. Um, in this instance, uh, John Francois is shooting it in a, a pretty different way. It's not standard Hollywood. It's not close inserts on every little piece. It's a lot of running long scenes and trying to get it all, all to come together. It's been a little challenge, but also pretty rewarding. Honestly, our first two days of shooting were this massive fight with Gerard and a heavy in, in a, this cobalt mine. And what, you know, we put together a little fight and shot it and, you know, it was about a two minute fight. And that turned into one take. Let's do the whole fight in one take with our lead actor, smashing into walls, flipping over desks, you know, a, a real gritty, like he's not a trained fighter in the film. So he's just a normal guy trying to survive. And Gerard just stepped up. I mean, I don't know what other actors we could do that with, uh, but Gerard was all in, um, and I think the outcome is going to be really cool. To watch him work is impressive just because it, every take is good. It's like you don't, I, I've never seen him do a bad take. Um, with the fight specifically, we had, like I said, the two minute thing. So there were things that went wrong in the first couple attempts but they had nothing to do with Gerard. He was 100% on all the time. But beyond the physicality of it, the, his acting is, I mean, look, that's why he is who he is, because uh, he's obviously good at what he does, but it's something to see it on the screen, but it's something else to witness it in person. So I'm really happy to have gotten to know him a little bit. Gerard's gonna make sure that he's being represented in the best possible way. And I think he's got a really good handle on that. He's got uh, just an instinct uh, that, that helps tie the story together. And as far as a creating producer, I think he excels at it. And, you know, there might be those moments you say, well, hey, this is taking a long time. But then by the end of it, you're like, it's better. It, it's worth it. The man knows what he's talking about. It's an illusion that we create. Um, I would say on this movie, we've put some of the actors in spots. We've pushed on that. Beyond Gerard in the fight was uh, Oliver did a lot of his stuff getting shoved to the ground. Mike Coulter is killing people. He was in a truck driving into the woods, you know, crashing through trees. And every one of them stepped up. And I think they've had fun doing it, I hope. <laughs> but. Uh, it's been a treat that way too, like, we, but it's a balance. We have to be educated about it. We, I, don't, I wouldn't put him where I believe they could actually get hurt. Um, but uh, it, yeah, I've enjoyed that process. I want, I want him to think that everything we did looked like it could really happen, but still be impactful enough to affect them. And that's kind of what this story wants it, kind of what it, it deserves and uh, so if, if that's it if they if they think everything we did might have happened then I think we did our job <laughs>